dude, RV? Today we are way out in southeast Texas, deep in the East Texas Piney Woods, Martin Dyes Jr. State Park. It's a big state park. It's going to take two videos. For this video, we're going to do the Hen House Ridge unit on the south side of Highway 190. That's right. There's a highway that runs right down the middle of Martin Dyes Jr. State Park. All right, I got the scooter. I got the GoPro. I got you. So let's cue the music and go check out Martin Dyes Jr. State Park Hen House Unit. According to that sign, today's fire danger is super low because we are having a record setting wet spring. Sorry about the handling the microphone. Because it's been such a wet spring, the mosquitoes are out in force. Make sure you bring your bug spray. The Martin Dyes Jr. State Park was originally going to be a Corps of Engineer, actually two different Corps of Engineer parks. Texas Parks and Wildlife took it over. I tell you, I think this is one of the most unique parks that I've been to in the Texas State Park system. Simply because of the biodiversity that I've seen since we arrived. There are some things that ain't so great though. And we'll cover that as we go through the park. Beautiful forest scenery though. Of course, the Texas State Park staff that checked us in, they're always such nice folks. I appreciate all that they do. All right, our first foray off the main road here, we're gonna go all the way back down to where the shelters are, and then we'll come back out through that RV loop you see in front of us. Critical point number one for me in the Martin Dyes Junior State Park is man, these roads are hard on me. They're rough. As we get deeper into the park, they get rougher and rougher. Be, it looks to me, easy for me to say. It, it it seems to me that there's a bit of a funding issue for this park. I don't know if that's because it's kind of far away from major metropolitan areas. I, I don't I don't know, but the fishing piers are gone, uh, and everything just looks really dated. Some of these roads will beat Little Red to death. But on the upside, June, July, I think it's, I think they said June, July, August, and September. Summer, basically, is the slow season for this park. Which kind of struck me as odd because it's such a pretty park. The lake on average, Stinningham Lake, WAWM, Stinningham Lake, uh, it's not a very deep lake. It only averages about eight feet. And as a result, the water tends to be really warm during the summer. And people that are wanting to swim in cool water don't want to swim in 80 degree water. 
All right, this turnaround loop here is, is really, really rough. Let's slow down for that. Muck me off my horse. Most of the playground equipment, if there is any, it, it consists of the swing set. So the kids don't load them up with too much sugar, otherwise they won't have any way to burn it off. They'll make you go crazy. There are screen shelters and air conditioned cabins. So if you got some free time and you don't have an RV, well come on down here and rent a cabin. Well, bite my butt. Hey, I'm interrupting our regularly scheduled production. Check this out. Bite my butt. My new favorite rub. You can buy that at WenzelLoneStarMeat.com. Right there. Right there. WenzelLoneStarMeat.com. He's got all kinds of cool road snacks, too. Bite my butt pork rinds. Yum. Bite my butt trashy butt snack. And bite my butt pumpkin seeds. So you can snack while you're going down the road. Wenzel Lone Star Meat does ship. In, in the continental United States. If you'll ask for the Dude RV special, they'll give you a little discount. Uh, it's gonna vary based on the product, but also they'll include a sticker, maybe two if you ask them nice. WenzelLoneStarMeat.com. really nice RV spots down here they're pull through it's one of those things it just, I didn't know and I didn't know and now that I know I'm gonna let you know so that you know if you're booking making reservations you want to come down here on this loop 329 330 all of these right in here are really cool sites Right on, right on, water access is right there. Lots of big trees, keep you shaded. It is Saturday, man, and it's hard to believe that there's, that the park does, is not full. I would think that being Saturday, this, this park would be jam-packed full of nature lovers, adventure seekers, RVers extraordinaire. I think I'm gonna have to have a momentary pause in production to change out my battery. That's a good place for Leon right there, number 315. This road is super rough. We're gonna pause right here and do a battery swap.
Man, we're going to wrap this one up right here. It has run way long. Hey, if you enjoyed our run through this half of Martin Dyes Jr. State Park, hey, give me one of those thumbs up. If, you've, if this is the first time you've been to Dude RV, click on that subscribe button down there. There's also a bell. You probably want to click on that too. That way you'll never miss another episode from Dude RV. If you've already subscribed, thank you. I am so deeply honored. It is my pleasure to share all that these beautiful Texas State Parks have to offer with y'all. That's why I keep doing it. You keep me going. Hey. We're going to hit 10,000 this year. <laughs> Rock on. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>